Hi everybody, Mustafa Hosseini here. Today I'm doing a book review with this book called The 80-20 Principle. Uh, the Secret to Achieving More with Less. I picked up this book on the advice of Tim Ferriss, the famous Tim Ferriss, the guy who wrote the book, The 4-Hour Work Week. Work Week. And absolutely amazing book. It's, a, it's an absolute must read for every business owner, every manager, everybody. Uh, you don't have to be in business to read this book. Whoever reads this book, it will impact your life like you cannot believe. So the story is there was a guy named Wilfredo Pareto, and uh, he lived from 1848 to 1923 in Italy. And in 1897, 97, about 100 years ago, he saw patterns in, uh, in the stats and in numbers. So he saw that, say, 20% of the people, for example, took 80% of the food. Okay, I'm gonna give you some examples today on how it applies to your business and how it can save you countless light years of work and headache on how, and how you can improve your processes, your costs, your sales and everything. I'll just dig right, right into it. 20% of your tasks and uh, the stuff that you do create 80% of the results, okay? So your job would be to track your time and identify which, which tasks create the results. And if you're focusing most of your time on tasks that don't create the results that you're after, whether it's sale, whether it's completion of a product, uh, whatever it is that you're trying to do, if it's not happening, chances are your time is going into a wrong spot. So identify and change it. Sales. 20% of your clients give you 80% of your sales. Uh, and then you will notice that 50 or 60% of your clients that are at the bottom of the list give you less than 10% of your sales. So two things you could do. One, you could fire the bottom half and still make uh, the same amount of money almost, 90%, or you can upsell them and work on them to bring them up uh, to the top 20%. 20% 20 um, of your products or services that you offer do 80% of your sales. Your job will be to identify which product or service is doing this and then, and then focus and refocus your resources on those top 20% or in the, in the top 50%. And you'll see a massive result, a massive difference. Okay. Staff. 20% of your salespeople create 80% of the sales, okay? Uh, if you have 10 salespeople, chances are two or three of those guys do way more than 80% of your sales. So your job would be, again, to identify and train the bottom guys and try to bring them up or fire them, free up the cash that you're paying those guys and reinvest it to the guys that are on the top or save that money or reinvest and reallocate that money on marketing and advertising to bring more people in. When it comes to inventory, uh, from that sales tracking, you will notice that 20% of uh, the products that you're selling that are bringing 80% of sales, the other 80% are taking extra inventory space in your warehouse. So if you want to free up some warehouse space, or if you want to reduce your warehousing costs, find out what that bottom 30, 40, 50% is, get rid of that stock and you're gonna save yourself some, some warehousing costs and or restock from more of the top 20 or 30% that moves and, and it sells, okay? Very important. Software. This is something that we actually applied it to our own software. Uh, we build and sell a software called uh, WP Spellcheck. WP Spellcheck, it's a WordPress plugin. Small software is something we do on the site. Now in software, there is memory and then there's time that determine the speed and the capacity of a software. Now uh, our software scans your WordPress website for uh, spelling errors, grammar errors, SEO, and for broken code. It scans the site and gives you a list of all the spelling errors, all the broke pages with broken code on it, pages with grammar errors, and the rest of it. So um, the capacity of our uh, plugin and software was 20,000 pages. So it would scan 20,000 pages in just under nine minutes. 
So what we did is we, we set up some debug code to track the time inside each, each, each function. So our spell check function has 32 sub functions. We track the activity of each of these functions and sure enough, two or three functions take 80 or 90% of the time. And then there is sub functions inside that function. So they're all nested. This 80, 20 rule is a nested process. So you keep going and then you there's 80, 20 applies to multiple nested events and actions. So let's say we, uh, we have a function called page scan. Page scan took a bunch of time. We went in there and there's a bunch of things that are happening inside that function, like loading the content, ignoring certain things, adding certain things, cleaning up the code. There was a, let's say if there was 10 things to do, sure enough, two or three of them take most of the time. So we fixed those two or three and then the speed was improved by 80%. Memory was reduced, memory usage was, was reduced by 80%. Once we applied this 80-20 rule across our software, the memory and time usage came down by 80%. So after we were done in a matter of a couple of days, uh, our software can now scan 80,000 pages in a minute 45 or a minute 48. So it used to be 20,000 pages in nine minutes. Now it's 80,000 pages in a minute 45. This concept is extremely powerful. Marketing, 20% of your marketing activities produce 80% of your results, okay? I'll give you a, a, an ad online example. Let's say AdWords, 20% of your keywords produce 80% of the results, okay? 20% of the keywords give you 80% of your conversions. Your job would be to stop or pause the keywords that are getting impressions but not clicks and reallocate the impressions to the ones that are actually getting clicks and Google prefers that. They don't wanna waste their advertising space and time. They'll you will get more, more click-through rates and the rest of it. Offline stuff, 20% of your offline campaigns uh, produce 80% of your results. For example, if you're advertising on mul multiple bus routes in the city, 20% of those buses create 80% of your results and impressions. Um, I cannot emphasize how extremely powerful this book and this concept is. The 80-20 principle, pick it up today, read it, and start applying it. Very, very, very powerful. It has changed my life, changed my business, and I've been coaching it to my clients like crazy. I'm actually gonna run a course on, on how to apply it more on our business. If, so if you were interested, send me a message and I'll send you the, the link to register. And this course is gonna be free. It's gonna happen sometime in the next two or three weeks. Your job would be to identify what's working, what is not working, what is important, what is not important, and, and reallocate your resources and your time and optimize your processes and create results. If you're looking for a shortcut, this is it. Although I don't believe in shortcuts in, in, in business and in life, but if there is one shortcut, if there is a um, this is it. And once you read this book, you realize and you understand that the universe is not a 50-50 balance. It's more of a 80-20 balance. It's more of a 10-90 balance or a 1-99 type of balance. Your job would be to identify that, find it, and use it to your advantage. That's, and this is exactly how you see some companies, they go to a million dollars in a year. And some points, some companies never make it past a hundred grand. Okay, uh, very, very, very powerful. I cannot emphasize enough how important this book is. Uh, on my next video, I'm gonna do a review on the book called Essentialism, which, in combination with this book, has done uh, a lot of miracles for me and for uh, a lot of people around me. And hopefully, you could learn and benefit from that. Anyway, hope this works for you. Have a great day. I'm going to leave a link on the uh, description of the video that you can uh, use and, uh, and purchase the book on Amazon and uh, read it on Kindle or per order the book. I think I bought it on Amazon and it worked for me. 
Have a great day. Mustafa Hosseini, you're your business and marketing coach.